Tell us who Zodwa is and what drives you to do what you do. And tell us a lot more, as much as you can tell us about yourself before we start asking you questions. Welcome, my dear. Thank you so much. Thank you. Um, I'm Zodwa. I'm, I'm uh, 32 years old. I have a son named Vuyo. He's uh, 12 years old. Um, I used to work as a debt collector uh, for a company called the Debt uh, Linma. Uh, then I came to Deben uh, four years ago, uh, working eight until five o'clock. Then uh, after payday, which is salary, I will take myself out as how I, I used to live in Soweto. Then um, being different, uh, being in a different uh, city, I was different. I was not received because I'm different. It's like uh, I can pack my bags and go and stay in Zimbabwe. Um, mm -hmm. It will be a new country uh, with a new job, uh, with new things. So same as I did with Deben. So they were surprised who I am, why I'm always out uh, partying, drinking. Then they would capture my dance moves, then upload it on YouTube. That's how Zotwa came about. Then I turned it into business. Wow, you did utilize your talent. You took your hobby and made it into your money. So tell us about your brand. Yes. Tell us more about your brand, this whole underwear thing. How did you even come up with it? Or I mean, just brief us on that, because I would like to know myself. You see, you got me practicing. You're like a little cult going on right now. You got me practicing to walk without my underwear. So tell us about it. How did you come up with this? And how did, I mean, just brief us. Okay. Um, nom, 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 nom. I, I wear um, short dresses, uh, mini skirts. So one time there was um, this camera, uh, I don't, you call it a, a Python camera, the one that mm. flies. While I was dancing, you know, th there's one thing when uh, someone is coming under your dress or, or uh, trying to see what they want to see while you are dancing or right. while you are standing. Yes. Right. So uh, with that camera, I was dancing. I didn't know uh, they had that camera at Ayatini. So uh, after two days, I've been uh, getting uh, WhatsApp uh, photos, saying that there's this photo of you on the internet, it's showing your pussy, uh, are you aware, yeah. blah, blah, blah. When I look at that photo, uh, uh, um, the way I was uh, in a position, I was not showing my pussy because that camera is from the sky, but I don't know how it went under my dress. Then from the social media, tape loads as in papers, uh, there's this girl dancing without pencils, there's this girl dancing without panties. Then I knew, you know, I would turn this while they are focusing on the panty. Let me build a brand. Let me build Zoto Abantu because they were curious. So I've turned it like that into business. Not that I dance, then I open my legs like this now. Yes. I noticed when you're dancing, that's when I actually fell in love with you because I noticed when you dance, even when your dress starts to open up, you hold it and you go down with your dress. Hey. So I say, why? Yes, because uh, I, I mean, honestly speaking, it's just like when you're doing business, it's your money and your money has nothing to do with you are using what you have to have, make your money. You're not trying to show people. If you were, then you just let the dress go. So my other question comes in as the names that you get called. What do you call yourself? You are definitely not a stripper. You just you walk with your clothes on and you do not wear your underwear. And your job requires you. Your money requires you. Comes in only when you don't have underwear. What do you call yourself as in business? What do you call yourself besides Zodwa? Um, uh, 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 um, of, oh, I'm just living my life, guys. I'm a normal woman. Um that she's smart, 
uh, to uh, to make the world uh, uh, talk and uh, stand. You know, um, a lot has been said about me. I sleep like a baby. I, I don't have problems. You see, I'm happy. I'm happy. I don't want anyone to knock at my house. I don't even want a savanna in my fridge. I don't have alcohol in my house. Um, I'm just normal. If I was fake, I could be having a fake hair. Uh, because I've been, uh, I've been told that I'm not pretty or I'm not uh, beautiful. I'm ugly. I could have been trying to, uh, let me show you. I could be trying to paint my face, putting Brazilian because I'm trying to be someone. So anything that they're saying that's coming my way, uh, it's like I have a shield that not me. Try next door. Well, you know what? You are a very confident woman. I love, I love, I love everything about you. You have so much confidence and you are reaching out right now. You have become an icon. You have become a figure that's going to teach a lot of women out there. I wanted to hear your story because I've, I've seen a lot and I've been through a lot. And I wanted to hear your story coming from you. Do you want to give us a little bit of um, your childhood, your childhood? Oh, yes. Uh, I'm the only child uh, from my parents, uh, from Soweto. My mom passed away. I went out of home when I was 16. Ever since, I never looked back. I never looked back. Uh, I'm not scared of anything because uh, I keep my circle so small that uh, I'm always watching my back. I'm not scared of anything. Um, I'm not scared of men. I'm not scared of uh, oh, anything.